What's up world, it's Will here with A-List Audio, back with another video. This one's gonna be a little different than what you're used to on the channel. I hope that you know I'm able to um, elevate your mind and maybe inspire you in different ways and maybe even teach you something at the end of this video. This video is something that I've kind of talked to different people about in the past and, and even you know up to recently and I felt like I should make a video about it so um, I hope you like it I hope that I'm able to you know make more videos like this in the future and that you guys like it because um, I do feel like I have a lot of things to say when it comes to music and just stuff in in life in general and I want to teach these producers and um, you know beat makers and artists some um, you know some of the stuff that I've learned along the way so you know let me know if you like it in the comment section make sure you hit that like button and that'll kind of tell me that you guys are really feeling this you know type of content the evolution of hip-hop or music in general really is a never-ending change as new generations are born they absorb the classics presented to them as kids which in turn you know it makes them fall in love with music and they grow up to take that passion to creatively create something of their own in my case I grew up listening to old school praise and worship since both of my parents were ministers, but the only secular music I knew was classic rock because of my father and Spanish music like salsa y merengue because of my mom, which wasn't really playing all the time anyway. As I got older, my first venture into this music world was Michael Jackson. I didn't just love his music, I loved his performances and everything he put into his music production. He was, in my opinion, by far the greatest secular artist of my lifetime. He made me fall in love with music. He made me want to create music. Honestly, I don't have many issues with how music has evolved, besides the typical old head comments of how music isn't the same as it used to be, you know, what we all say when we hit 30. I know this new mumble rap era has had its fair share of controversy, but I can completely understand why it's gotten as big as it has. This trap music has a ton of bass, the vocals have, you know, really cool processing and sound effects, and it generally promotes a fun lifestyle that in many ways unites people. With that being said, not all unity is made equal. Not all rappers today who rap about their beliefs are what you would call Christian, since the term can definitely be broken down and talked about in depth for a long time, but for the purpose of this video, I will just say Christian rappers. When it comes to the Christian hip hop scene, things have also evolved as well. I didn't hear my first Christian rapper until I was about 16, maybe 15, 16 years old. I didn't have anyone around me who really played that genre. My first Christian rapper was a guy named T-Bone, someone who must be well retired by now. His verse in a worship song was as churchy as it gets. He said God, Jesus, and even quoted Bible verses and it sounded preachy as well. That's what Christian hip hop was about, preaching the gospel through music. Today, the ministry has evolved into something different. Christian rappers are now rappers who are Christians. Just like we are bankers and actors and musicians, producers, salespeople, marketers, waiters, and many more, we are that and we are Christians, or whatever term you want to insert there. Some Christian rappers are out there still preaching the gospel, but the new generation coming up is basically just making music without curse words or promoting a lifestyle that secular music has promoted for many, many years. Is this music wrong? Is it bad or against what ministries are supposed to be doing? I leave that question up to you. It's not my place to judge, but I can honestly say that I continue to listen to Christian hip-hop because no matter what, and again this is my opinion, Secular music has a poison that just attacks your soul slowly. Christian hip hop might not be the answer it once was, but it might very well point you or your kids in the right direction of where you need to go. For now. Thanks for watching. Peace.